All right, hey guys, you're here with Denitra, and uh, today's video, I wanted to show you guys what I plan on using in 2016 uh, for a new year uh, planner. And uh, I decided to go with a ring bound planner. And uh, I like the Midori style, um, don't get me wrong, I love them. But I think for uh, planning purposes, I could get more into one system with a, a ring bound planner. And um, so yeah, since I can't purchase one, uh, I decided to just do a DIY, of course, and um, I used an October afternoon daily flash um, binder. And I've had it in my stash for a few years, and um, I've, I've used it uh, for a couple things, but never, like, kept up with it. Like, they're supposed to be used for, like, pocket page scrapbooking, um, but I don't print pictures too often, and um, it just... It wasn't useful to use a whole binder just for like the pocket pages so I just ended up continuing on with my 12 by 12 scrapbook pages and putting them in my bigger you know 12 by 12 scrapbook um, binders um, but so um, first off I used um, some contact paper that I picked up from Walmart and it's in this Moroccan uh, tile kind of pattern I'm obsessed with this pattern so much it's just a simple and just a really cute design and um, the rug in my craft space is in the same pattern uh, it's a different color though it's like it's teal but um yeah so I used uh, this to cover the entire binder and yeah so I think this binder is $7.99 um, or between seven and like ten dollars uh, so still uh, really inexpensive so um, let me just open it up and show you so uh, on the inside, of course, I made pockets just like regular, you know, leather bound, uh, leather three wing planners are. And so I have a pocket up here at the top and then one down here. And so I just uh, used the Nature Garden collection by Prima and I cut down some of those journaling cards and made myself like some little uh, like uh, note sheets. So I'm gonna just cut those in half. And um, I made this paper clip. It's a really cute bird. And so these are just clipped there. And then I have uh, this little uh, page flag, you know, stack here that I could write on. The patterns are light enough uh, that I can write on top with a black, you know, um, pen and just glue it or tape it into my binder, wherever. Um, this little envelope uh, had like some it has like some little cut aparts from a Prima collection and it was given to me in a swap that I did years ago and um, yes I thought they were tiny enough to go inside my planner so I just um, made this paper clip as well and so those just clip in there and then uh, so that's the very top pocket and then this bottom pocket I have a little uh, another little note uh, booklet here and then another clip of you know notes and then uh, this tag it also came in that the little packet of uh, the swap that I was in a uh, years about two two years ago um, and so it's just decorative and so there's this there's a pocket here and here and so um, there's a side pocket here so this little flap okay and then uh, this is the little envelope with more little cutouts and doodads uh, that can be used in my planner so I didn't make this envelope or um, this one here or the contents inside it now um, I did make this uh, paper clip using a crepe paper Maggie Holmes a uh, bow and then for like a uh, letter I was uh, thinking of a stationary idea another stationary idea I know um, I was gonna create like this uh, letter writing kit and I was gonna come with like stamp lined papers and um, little things that you could probably stick or glue you know on your letter 
and then I was gonna make envelopes and stuff I'm still gonna do that but um, I really liked this paper for myself um, I stamped this Eiffel Tower on here and so I'm just gonna keep that in here so and then I made uh, this paper clip so uh, let's put things back together here well here I'll just we we'll just leave it over there okay so now on to the dividers and stuff um, so I used uh, the nature garden collection for my dividers as well and so this is like a dashboard uh, or it's what they call a dashboard but it's not functioning um, as one it's just more so like a decorative color cover uh, for me uh, you know visually you know appealing not really functional but I just decorated it okay so all the pages inside are seven by nine and um, yeah I hand cut everything so it took a minute um, here's a bird cage from that same swap um, this line notepad uh, paper is from canvas court brands um, I'll link it again I linked it in my previous video uh, but what I did is I took two pieces and glued it back to back and added uh, what do you like a spine I guess I don't know uh, just some black cardstock and then I used a uh, die to uh, spell out the word goals and so I'll write down goals um, as they come to me I'll write it down okay so for this uh, so let's go to the back I originally made gold dividers um, but I decided so here are the gold dividers back here so really pretty paper um, but I decided that I wanted to go with like a theme uh, to start off with so these uh, gold dividers will be used um, but just not right at the beginning of the, of the new year so um, so for this uh, first section is just going to be basically where I do my weekly planning and so these uh, chipboard pieces are from the nature garden collection by Prima it's older it's older um stack I'm trying to get my get this in view okay there we go okay and then I just have um, a pocket on the back of the writer and then these are like what are going to be my weekly planning sheets. I'm going to try to do a week on one page instead of two because just starting up planning uh, this year, I, I realized that I don't need two sheets for a full week. It's There's a lot of extra leftover, you know, kind of wasted space. And so I'm going to try to create like a little somewhat of a, you know, layout on just one one sheet for the week so I've got some I've got enough sheets for the whole year already cut down in here and so if I decide to do um, two weeks on a uh, one week on two pages then I could just cut down more paper um, so here's the second divider and this uh, section is going to be for my homeschool planning and um, it also has a pocket on the back um, before I would do my homeschool planning in a different homeschooling binder um, but I was always forgetting to bring that binder downstairs with me and so say I needed to you know uh, create some type of a worksheet for you know whatever I would always I would write it in that binder and then leave that binder upstairs which is where the girls um, have school and I and it would just be a disaster so uh, what I'm gonna do this starting uh, next year is put it keep it all in you know one one area so I just cut down notebook paper for them because I just write out what each kid is gonna do so it's just Morgan and Sydney so I'll write Morgan you know Monday and then I'll just list everything she has to do that day and then Sydney everything she has to do and um, so that'll work out for me just fine and I'll add more paper to that of course um, in this next section um, I will be there's a pocket here as well I'll be doing my planning for my uh, projects so like a design team project YouTube projects um, you know blog posts and stuff like that I'll you know be doing my sketching and you know just kind of uh, mapping out you know what I'm gonna do for what project like uh, what uh, pro products I'm gonna use even if I need to find links to things or if I need to remember uh, 
exactly what the name of a, you know a piece of paper I'm gonna use I can do all of that on this uh, grid lines here and uh, it's just front and back and I cut this down as well and punched holes and all that so this whole thing is DIY um, I really love this piece of paper here it's so pretty um, so yeah it also all these dividers have pockets in the back just in case something needs to um, go in there uh, so uh, this section is going to be for quotes um, I love quotes I love uh, sharing them like on Facebook on my Facebook page um, but sometimes they get lost in my food in my feed and so when I see them or see some that I really really want to remember and uh, maybe even put in like my journaling I will write it down on these up uh, just blank it's just blank card stuck and then uh, back here uh, there isn't anything behind this because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it this last section for notes or for business related stuff um, because I do um, have a Darby Smart store on DarbySmart.com. Um, all of my links are always like down below and I have a blog shop on my blog and so I I probably I need to keep up with like pricing and how much you know products I have of like you know a certain item that I'm stocking I need to you know remember you know to maybe like make more you know coffee thing cards or you know whatever um, I could keep track of that in this um, in this section so that's probably what this last section is going to be okay and then there's a pocket behind here as well so this is the template that I was using for my pockets and I just stuck that behind there um, this is the one of the daily flash um, page protectors see that and I use this to to be my guide for where to punch my holes and then uh, this is some I just kind of drew this up just to I was playing around with how I'm gonna lay out my week um, I don't know if this is it though um, but you know we'll see it's yeah we'll see and so and, and these are those extra um, gold dividers which I will be using um, I just don't think I'll be using them at the beginning of uh, January so so anyway this is 100% DIY you guys I used uh, paper from my stash um, you know copy paper really cheap notebook paper um, everything's pretty much um, easy to do it it also lays flat um, which I like some of some binders don't lay flat um, so that that's a good good thing um, if I could afford a, a ring bound planner for the next year I would most likely get a Marion Smith um, planner because I love the way her planner set up and I love her inserts and stuff um, I also like the Kiki K um, brand I love Kiki K's um, like accessories and stuff and uh, so if I'm not like saying don't buy like a planner but if you can't purchase one at the moment you could definitely uh, DIY it because um, those things can get a little pricey so um, yeah so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I'll try to do one planner video a week because um, you guys seem to really like them they get the most views so um, yeah I forgot where this was where was this I don't know I'll just put it up here okay guys so that's my DIY ring bound planner I'm gonna start using it in January um, I might start using it a little earlier I don't know but uh, oops okay so there it is all right so if you have any questions or if you want to see um, have any if you have any request of course always let me know of your request I'm always looking for ideas and video ideas so um, thanks for watching you guys and I'll be back on Friday with another video uh, see you guys later bye